Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Big news here at Complete Street Performance. Huge news. Uh, I bought another C8. That's right. So I already placed an order for a C8, a uh, uh, an orange C8 that uh, uh, I'm really looking forward to getting. Well, something crazy happened. My buddy Mike Davenport, you all, you guys probably know him on YouTube as uh, the Chevy dude. He sent me a message and a bunch of other people a message about uh, a pre-production C8 Corvette that he has for sale now. So uh, I sent him a message right away. I didn't even watch the full video that he sent. It was a, a video message. Uh, I sent him uh, a message right away. He called me right after I sent it, and I, I gave him the, the deposit for it. So we're buying two C8s for the shop. Well, three now, I guess. And uh, holy shit, we're going to have a C8 before anybody else. Or we should have a C8 before anybody else. Uh, the only thing that's happening with this pre-production one, it's uh, going to uh, uh, Detroit for uh, quality control, and then it gets delivered. Holy crap. Uh, this is really, really, really exciting stuff, guys. Um, I... I don't know what else to say except, oh my God, we have so many plans. So uh, first, big thanks to uh, Mike Davenport for uh, uh, so the Chevy dude. He's a Louisville Chevy dude. Um, you can find him on YouTube. Uh, big thanks to him for even reaching out because my order is already in 3000 status. So I have a production date and all. And I mean, who else orders a second one, especially when my production date's 3-2? But I did. I had to jump on it because I want to be the first to get all this stuff to you. We have big, big plans for the C8s. Uh, really big plans. And now I want to thank another company. I want to thank Texas Speed. So Texas Speed has told me before that they already are on board to, um, to work together to make this magic happen, to do some crazy stuff together. And uh, we have big, big things in the works. So we are uh, uh, going to be getting... All sorts of Texas Speed stuff for the C8, thanks to uh, you know our great relationship that we have with them, and I'm really looking forward to that as well. Oh, and we're we have so much stuff that we're gonna do. So first thing, I'm gonna do a burnout in the parking lot. I, th it's just what I gotta do. And then if there's a track open down in Kentucky, I'm gonna take it straight to the track because I'm gonna try to pick it up on like a Saturday or some shit like that. And then, so we'll try to get the first C8 at the uh, the track. We'll try to get the first C8 burnout that doesn't get arrested or whatever. We'll probably get some C8 street racing in there because, well, you know, that seems fun as well. And I'm sure we'll get that on the, uh, the trip back. So I'm in Pennsylvania and we're gonna be coming back from uh, Kentucky with it. So that'll be, you know, pretty cool. And uh, then, uh, well, then we're going to come back here, and then we're going to start trying to set some records and shit with it. Which, I mean, we probably will already set a record because we're probably going to be the first one at the racetrack with it. But we'll try, I'll try to do, like, all sorts of other stuff with it as well. And thanks to the uh, the people that are on board, um, you know, Texas Speed, I, we have, and we have a couple other shops. But um, I, I can't make mention of them just yet. But, uh, yeah, it's that is really exciting. So, uh, what car is this? So, you guys already know that I'm getting an orange car, which uh, we might try to change up just a smidge. But what is this one? Well, this one is a Shadow Gray 3LT Z51 with uh, black wheels, uh, red interior, and I think red seatbelts. So, it's got the dual-mode exhaust, nav, uh, the PDR, all that stuff. Uh, the heated and cooled seats, which, I mean, I'm an old man, so this is really important to me and uh that's what it is i'm it's a pre-production one it has a vin like it's it's not one of the must be destroyed things and what happened was gm somehow reached out to certain dealers and was like hey here's a um here's a couple cars that we can sell so we got one uh the msrp should be somewhere around seventy eight thousand which is a little salty for you know a car that's been driven already, but that's okay because I want it. It's gotta be the first one, and it's made in Detroit. It's not even made in Bowling Green, which is crazy. Um, and then I'll be able to do a comparison between the two of them, like what we uh, see as a difference between the, uh, uh, like the pre-production version and the production version. Now my production version has a little bit more in terms of the bells and whistles, like I'll get the, the lift where the front end goes 
and like lifts up two inches or something like that. And uh, it also has mag ride. The, uh, uh, the pre-production version is only Z51, but this is really, really incredible. Uh, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm freaking out over here. It's nuts. So truthfully, I don't even know what color Shadow Grey is. I think that, like, I uh, knew it at one point, but I've totally forgot it now. Like, it's... So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to build the car that's already built. So, this is a pre-production car. It's already built, already driving. Um, and uh, to answer your question, it will have a warranty from the mileage that I buy it from, which is really cool. There's no restrictions or anything like that on it. So, let's go to the GM... Uh, website here we're at uh, chevrolet.com we're gonna go to upcoming and we're gonna hit that 2020 corvette and now let's build and price it okay so i ended up getting the uh the coupe like it's not a convertible although i kind of thought i wanted it now this one is a 3lt which is pretty cool uh it has better uh quality interior and it is shadow gray oh that's cool that's cool that you know this actually reminds me of my uh i had a ctsv um, 2005 CTSV that was, uh, like this color. Uh, let's see. It's got the red interior. The, uh, uh, oh, that's really nice looking. It is a Z51, so we should get some, uh, bigger brakes and stuff and performance exhaust. So we get the, uh, not the engine appearance package. And, uh, I know it's got the carbon flash painted aluminum wheels. Oh, that's nice looking. And, uh, let's see, there's one other thing that I feel like I'm missing. Ooh, bright red calibers. Yep, I think that's what it is. And, um, I think the last thing is the red seatbelt. And that puts it, like, the interior's going to look like this. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that interior. I like that interior a lot. This is actually a pretty cool, and this is a 3LT. You know what? The one thing I don't like about uh, um, one of these interiors, let's see, colors, like color-wise, like 3LT, if you get, like, white, uh, you get, like, white up top. I really did not like white up top. I didn't think that looked good. So I was kind of worried that there would be, like, red all around me, and I'd look like I'm in, like, you know, some kind of devil thing. But so here we are, like, I, so I'm really happy that this is how it's going to look. Uh, it makes a lot more, more sense that way. It looks like the total price is going to be like seventy eight nine. Ah! What? Uh-oh. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to be, it's going to be like this. Maybe. That's going to be what I get. I'm going to get that, that car. My gosh. It doesn't look too bad. It's like better than kind of I spec. So I got an orange one because I wanted to stand out. And ideally I wanted the uh, the rapid blue. So that's pretty nice. Now I'm I'm asking uh, Mike Davenport, it's the Chevy dude, where I'm getting the pre-production one and this one if I can change my orange color to this. Uh, for comparison purposes, uh, the orange color looks like this. So this is the orange color and this is what I... Uh, uh, may still end up getting. It actually looks kind of nice. Like, it looks pretty badass. You know, I think I'm going to be happy either way, like, if I can't change this order, uh, because it looks pretty badass and definitely stands out, but I do want the blue. The blue looks pretty nice if, if I can. But, you know, it's at 3,000 status, so it is what it is. So my orange one will have the high wing, the high black wing, and it'll have the all black uh, mirrors and stuff like that. Uh, as well as mag ride and that front lift and it'll have the engine appearance uh, package which is the engine lighting stuff so those are the things that I'm not getting with uh, uh, the pre-production version but uh, I mean I just want to have the first one so we can really begin some of the stuff we're doing and one thing that I really can't tell you about yet but maybe uh, next week I can when I reveal the other big announcement that I was going to put out tonight but uh didn't actually do because of this bigger announcement at least i feel like this is a bigger announcement so guys we got a lot of stuff happening uh a lot of crazy stuff that's going down and i'm just like excited and i really wanted to share it with you that uh we should have like one of if not the first like ca corvettes out there 
And uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see it, because it's coming, and it is coming fast. Uh, expect it to be somewhere in the next couple weeks, because it's got to go to Detroit first for quality check, and then it comes to me. Crazy. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the channel soon for all the shenanigans with the C8. Adios.